Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to be reviewing the Kindle Paperwhite, the best e-reader per dollar on the market right now, as well as the best e-reader under $125. So like always, if you're interested in the most updated pricing on the Kindle Paperwhite, check out the links in the description down below. We also keep the description up to date with additional information and helpful links and tips you might be interested in, so be sure to check that out as well. But without further delay, let's get into the video. The Kindle Paperwhite features a lot of innovations that make it a standout in the world of e-readers, and indeed the new version is vastly superior to older Kindle iterations. With reader-driven design, the Kindle Paperwhite makes for a very intuitive and customizable e-reader, not to mention practical as well. Today's Kindle Paperwhite e-reader has gotten a massive graphics upgrade compared to its predecessors. The current Kindle Paperwhite boasts a 300 ppi high resolution display. That's twice as many pixels per inch as the older generation of this classic e-reader. The doubled pixels produce much sharper, clearer letters and imagery, reducing eye strain, on top of just making your ebooks look a whole lot prettier. Perhaps one of the biggest benefits to getting a Kindle Paperwhite for reading as opposed to using your phone or your tablet is its ultra-long battery life. In the best of circumstances, your phone or tablet will last you maybe a few hours while you're lost in your favorite book. Kindle Paperwhite, on the other hand, will last weeks on a single charge. This long battery life ensures the Kindle won't go out when you're just about to read the startling conclusion to a complicated plot. A single Kindle Paperwhite charge has a maximum battery life of about six weeks. Tablets are generally backlit. This is ideal for viewing movies and high quality photo editing, but it's not so great for reading. With built-in front lighting, light waves are directed towards the surface of the tablet. This means that less bright light goes directly towards your eyes, which is a common cause of eye strain when reading digital books. The Kindle's front lighting feature not only reduces eye strain, but it also improves the look of digital books on screen too. Many of us like to take a book on vacation, to read by the beach or the pool, and in the digital age, we want to take our digital books with us too. As a lot of us have found out the hard way, tablets and smartphones produce a lot of blinding glare that makes it near impossible to read for extended periods out in daylight. This is another area where the Kindle Paperwhite holds superior ground. It's specifically designed to cut out glare, allowing your ebooks to truly be the best digital representations for their traditionally printed cousins. Bookerly is an exclusive font offered for Kindle Paperwhite. Visually, it has a cozy, clean, modern feel without feeling sterile or futuristic, and it's a pleasing font to see rendered on the digital page. But the deeper benefits of Bookerly also deserve recognition, because they're a huge part of what makes Kindle Paperwhite's reading such a unique experience. Most importantly, readers will notice that Bookerly is explicitly designed to look great in any font size. That means whether you set it super small or super large, your book will still look great and have the original spacing, indentations, and everything else the author originally intended. Additionally, the finer details of the font have been designed to be ultra-readable for faster reading and less eye strain. Another huge benefit even casual readers will likely notice. If you're interested in going more in-depth on some features and updated pricing on the Kindle, be sure to check out the links in the description. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and consider subscribing for more great product reviews. The Kindle Paperwhite comes in two colors now, black and white. I chose black because I like its sharp looks, as well as the fact that it's just somehow stealthier if you're reading it in public, like on the train for instance. Before reading on the Paperwhite, I had thought a lot of the praise about the Bookerly font was merely hype. I admit I don't know a lot about the finer points of font design, so maybe that's why I underestimated it. But the proof is in the pudding as they say, and Bookerly delivers a very pleasant reading experience. I never once found myself rereading a word, and it just felt quite natural, even when I enlarged the font to check out the claims made about how well it reads in a larger font size. Short answer, it does read really well when scared to a larger font size. I was also blown away how easy on the eyes it is, in terms of eye strain. The smart lighting choices really do make a big difference. What's to like? Well, you have a 300 ppi 6 inch display. That's twice the resolution as the previous generations. You have improved rendering as a result of a higher resolution, and a single battery charge can last up to 6 weeks. Also, there's no glare, not even in bright sunlight. What to consider? It'd be ideal if the basic option was built-in Wi-Fi plus free 3G, but this isn't a big deal since even the most basic option covers Wi-Fi. The six-week max battery life only applies when Wi-Fi is turned off, which is a shame since most people will likely leave their Wi-Fi turned on, as well as other factors that make it hard to predict if your max battery life will ultimately be in that range. That said, even if you use Wi-Fi and bright light settings, you should still get days, if not weeks, longer battery life over something like a tablet, for instance. A one-year limited warranty and service is included with purchase of the Kindle Paperwhite. US customers have the option of purchasing additional one-year, two-year, and three-year warranty extensions. For avid readers and general book fans alike, the Kindle Paperwhite offers a huge advantage not only over traditional printed books, but tablets and smartphones as well, 
due to its very purpose-driven design towards creating a tablet to exclusively read on. With innovations in front lighting and other book-driven features like note exports, etc., the Kindle Paperwhite is a good companion for anyone who not only loves a good read, but wishes to have an e-reader that is highly customizable. I'm a big fan of the Kindle Paperwhite, and I would definitely recommend it. Alright guys, that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a like, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We do all kinds of videos like this, all aimed at providing the best information possible to help people make better and more informed purchasing decisions. Be sure to check out the description down below for the most up-to-date pricing information. And if you are interested in reading more, we'll have a full written review with some additional details on the Kindle on our website, which you can find in the description down below. Hope you guys have a terrific rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.